Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and we're live. Uh, so, the stream has not yet started properly as of yet. Uh, this is just usually that sort of time that gets a race from memory. Uh, the time when I get a chance to actually make sure everything's working and say hello to you fine people. So how are you fine people doing? I do hope we're doing well today. If somebody could let me know if audio is coming through great, that would be lovely. Super, and that's what I like to hear. <laughs> Hello there, Fluff Bunny. I like that name. Indeed, we are playing the USSR today. It's going to be rather interesting. The scenario we're going to be playing is going to be uh, quite the challenge. It's uh, going to be a very different from the challenge that we faced last week, where we were very much outnumbered. <laughs> we will be spotlighting the DDR at some point in the future. But tonight, we have the USSR. So you're getting half your wish there. I can imagine that the, uh, well... The GDR uh, would have been used in very similar equipment, if not the same anyway. Oh, do not cry tonight. Don't worry, we'll be looking at that in the future, I'm sure. <laughs> have you seen the film Bridge of Spies? That's a really good film. I really do love me some Tom Hanks, and I really do love me some like Cold War espionage, some Cold War drama. Such a good film. No, it's a good film. Very good film. Is Deutschland 83 the TV show, or did they do a TV show remake of a film? I've, I've heard the name. I've definitely heard the name. <laughs> da Kombra. <laughs> uh, God, I can't even do an English accent, so... Uh, <laughs> I GDR. Yeah, is it any good? I've heard about it. Definitely heard about it. That's awesome, I'll take that into consideration. I'm still to watch the death of Stalin at the moment, I've heard that's absolutely hilarious. It's just one of those things you've got to be in the right mood for a comedy such as that to really appreciate it. Oh, Deutschland 86? Ah, oh, right, interesting. I'll tell you those is good recommendations. Yeah, it does look really good. I've seen some parts of it. <laughs> I, I just love uh, Bushimi as uh, Nikita Khrushchev. <laughs> Pretty happy today. I finally got my uh, Dark Heresy 2 books. Which have finally arrived. I actually finally managed to win them in an auction on eBay, so I'm very happy about that. Yeah, we'll have a quick look at the database editor while we're here then. I mean, obviously this won't be included as part of the stream. Um, but you can definitely do a lot from here. Like, yeah, there's a lot that can be done here. <laughs> obviously this is uh, subject to change as the game is uh, not quite yet ready, is it? There's a small peak. I do absolutely adore this art, I've got to be honest, I really do like this. Whoever the artist is, is actually doing a hell of a good job, this is superb. I wouldn't mind this as having, uh, well, of using it for like a wallpaper for the background of my PC.
Ah, nice one, man. No, I have, um... My own, uh, airsoft uniform is flecked on. Um, but I do have a, uh... Well, a, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how the heck you pronounce it. I do have a German army officer's uniform, like an actual reproduction. That thing's great. It costs me about 250 pounds. I tell you though, the most expensive part of it was actually having the boots made. Those are the most expensive parts. I would have wanted an actual um, soldier's uniform, but the opposite was actually cheaper, surprisingly. Don't know how, but it actually was. Um, and then I also have an STG44. That thing's great. I've had, it, uh, I've had some upgrade work done on it. Uh, but it does need a new motor, just because... <laughs> I tell you though, it shoots straight. It is beautiful. So very heavy though. And the magazines are freaking huge. Hello there, guys. How you doing? He does very fine work. <laughs> Take a quick look. Good afternoon, guys. How you doing? Nice. That's some really good work there. We'll definitely be taking uh, <laughs> a few AKs of us into this battle. That's good to hear. I'm glad you're doing well, my friend. If you guys could share the stream, that'd be great. Really would really appreciate that. Not long now at all. But yes, as I mentioned earlier on, this scenario today will be very, very interesting. <laughs> we'll have to bear that in mind. Whereabouts in the UK? Only one more minute now. I hope you guys are excited. Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome once more to Armoured Brigade, or should I be saying hello there comrades, as today we will be taking a look at the USSR, and the scenario that we have to play today is going to be rather challenging. Not quite the same challenge that we faced the US forces as of last week, um, but quite another form of challenge and we'll be taking a look at that one very very shortly. So, we'll get right into this then shall we. We have again another mission designed for us, uh, Nikitin's Assault. The Soviet attack came on a wide front. April 24th, 1974, the Soviet 21st Motor Rifle Division attacked. Right, so we are engaging here in the Lindbergh sector. I'm just coming over this just so we can get the main details here. Um, okay. Now I do believe that we will be facing the British forces over here. I'm just leaving this here so you guys can pause it if you would like to see this. 
But yes, here we go in today. Really do love this art. Okay. If we take a look at this then, we are playing a meet and engagement scenario here. What this means is that, uh, well, we will have our objectives over here, same as the enemy will have objectives of their own. Uh, we can see here quite a narrow map, quite long but quite narrow. This is going to lead to some uh, definite show points here. If we take a look at the actual height, and bear in mind I said height map this time, usually I would say heat by mistake. Now we can identify a good location up over here. If we take a look, we can see the actual elevation, so um, about 30 meters, give or take. The mirror is a little bit higher, which is quite nice, but about 30 odd meters. Now, if we take a look then, uh, we can see here the terrain is actually lower, which is very good. This is actually very, very handy for us. Now, as we are playing a meet and engagement, we don't necessarily have to be on the offensive, and we don't necessarily have to be on the defensive either. We do have to be quite smart in how we do this. I suppose it's going to be one of those things. It could go very much either one way or the other. It very much depends on who plays their cards and at what point they play their cards and, and to what effect they actually have. Well, the scenario is taking place uh, just, well, I suppose you could say uh, east of Rottenburg. Uh, south of Hinson. <laughs> I'm not very good with my uh, local German geography. But yes, we are playing in northern Germany. Okay. Northern Germany, potentially on the border with the Netherlands. Ah, uh, North German plane. Yes, there we go. Right. So we have our deployment zone over here. And if we actually take a look at the units that we have today. Uh, so the scenario does take place in a much earlier year than we played last time in the 1970s. Uh, which means that we are using uh, predominantly the T-64. Now, it's not a bad vehicle. Not bad at all. We do have radio, two plane stabilization, small generator, APC protection. Uh, what I'd like to actually take into consideration though is the armor. Now notice this is kinetic energy, uh, chemical energy, I suppose. Um, or it might be kinetic effect. We'll just say KE and CE. <laughs> just so I don't uh, complicate, uh, well, complicate things. But we can see here the hull isn't as well isn't able to deal with it as well with kinetic. Oh, we do have uh, better protection here. So we do need to be quite careful. For example, if we go to our weapons, if we take a look at the 125 uh, 2A26 gun, we can see here that the AP FSDS has obviously quite high penetration values due to the uh, KE. So what we have to bear in mind is, uh, though we may have a powerful gun, the 125mm gun is quite powerful. We only have a limited amount of AP FSDS, so we have to be quite careful. We do carry a lot of HE fragmentation rounds. Uh, we also do have high explosive anti tank rounds. So you can see their range is very different. The AP FSDS rounds do have pretty good range. So we will be uh, employing those <laughs> primarily at longer ranges. Hello there, Kamasar. How you doing, my friend? Okay, if we take a look at the isometric view here, you can definitely see what I was talking about. The map is actually very low. We do obviously have a slight elevation over here, which we are going to definitely try to play to our advantage. Uh, we notice that there are a lot of uh, streams or rivers in this area. Not very large ones, but there are small crossing points, so we do have to bear that in mind. So for example, if I go back to the actual map here, we can see, for example, we do have a bridge here. We have a bridge here. Uh, which does give us quite a nice uh, tactical advantage on this flank, and so then the enemy will have to cross this bridge. I don't particularly want to cross this bridge, I really would rather have Overwatch on this bridge. Uh, if we are to approach this town, which we may have to do, I'm not going to do it very early on in the battle, I'd probably do it uh, rather later on. Uh, but we'll continue to look at what forces that we have available. Now, we do have some ATGM carrying uh, vehicles over here, we have the BRDM 2s, which is very nice. They carry the ATBC Saga ATGM. Take a look at the actual capabilities. Uh, we can see that it's actually fairly short range, only 500 to 3000 meters. Which I say short range, it's very respectable range. It's not huge, but it's respectable enough. If we take a look, obviously it's a guided missile. 
of generation. Aim times five seconds, fire times five seconds. It does take a long time to reach the target. Yes, they have practically no armor, so ideally we want to keep them as concealed as possible. Now their visibility is quite important. It's average visibility, but if we compare that to the T64A, we should be able to see just uh, what sort of capabilities we do have in terms of hiding them. Right, okay, so it's, yeah, it's about average. It's a larger vehicle. Now notice we have the ATGM carriers down here in the south, and if we take a look at our forces, we do have um, a large concentration of T-64s here in the center. Uh, so we have three groups of three as well with a uh, command tank in the center here. Now, we are equipped with some spellers. These are very nice. They're, well, they're competent enough. Now they're carrying four missiles ready and they have an additional aid. Their range is 4, 000, sorry, 400 to 4,200. Uh, so yeah, round about, uh, round about this, round about, yeah, round about here at maximum range. We'll have to find a decent position to embed them. Now going back to the isometric view. Uh, so we do know that obviously we have the bridges over here, so at least these are some potential choke points. Uh, we can see here the enemy, is this a river over here? Let's take a look. No, it does not appear to be a river. Okay. Ah, uh, right, here we go. Yes, this is definitely a choke point here. So notice that we do have the forest. We have a road running through the middle of the forest over here. Uh, this is the only way through the forest uh, that is reasonable. This is very good. We do have a road here, slash bridge. Uh, so we can really see here. The battlefield may appear quite open, but there is a lot of uh, narrow choke points here, which is going to be lovely. That means that we can bring our forces to bear. Now we are going to be going up against the British army here, so that means that we are going to be more than likely seeing uh, Chieftain MBTs, which are very, very effective, ferociously so. We do need to be quite careful. Now, I think what we'll do here is we're going to take advantage of this actual relief. I don't think we want any forces to be looking directly on the road here. What I mean by that is, for example, if something's here, it can see us here. Obviously, we can see it coming from a long while off, but there's every chance it could see us as well. I think what we'll do is we'll sort of lay in ambush positions. Now, this could be very effective. They can only just see this as they come through. Uh, this position probably might be the best. But we have some anti-armor deployed here. By the time they actually come to cross the bridge, they'll be actually approaching us uh, with their side armor. So that might be very good for us to actually take advantage of. Uh, we'll probably want to have some infantry just in the trees over here. Just to give us some defense against enemy mechanized forces or motorized forces. Or indeed just normal uh, infantry platoons. That'd be very nice. Okay. Now, we're not able to deploy our forces here. We'll have to move them during the battle. Uh, but what we will be doing here then is we will be uh, laying down our target reference points. So, the map isn't very large, which is very handy. It means I can actually place these down fairly effectively. We will try to overlap them to a certain degree. Not terribly much, but just to a, just to a degree. I think somewhere over here as well. I'd imagine this is where, if they're actually going to be bringing in the artillery, whether it's off-map artillery, whether it's um, on-map artillery, I'd imagine it'll be in this area. Now, speaking of artillery, we do have 18 guns under our command. We have 756 high-explosive rounds, as well as 108 DPI CM rounds. Uh, 54 illumination rounds, sadly we don't need those. 162 smoke rounds, which is actually going to be rather intriguing, what we could do with those. Now... We could use them to actually shield our forces uh, quite preemptively. I think uh, we'll have to bear that in mind. But let's take a look at the actual line of sight for our forces, then we'll figure out where we need to deploy our forces. I think that's going to be the best way to go. Now if we take a look at our scout team over here, we can see that they, they can see uh, roughly just just over uh, 1,500 meters in different directions, and in other directions uh, somewhat further. It may be worth it to actually deploy them to a uh, more forward position. Uh, such as potentially this one. Now if we actually take a look at the infantry, could we get an idea of their concealment values? Okay, so the visibility here I'd imagine is much lower than a vehicle, of course. But what we may want to do then is, let's see, the elevation here is 11 meters. 9. Uh, 9 here as well. Okay. 
I'm definitely thinking perhaps a little bit further to the rear. I think what we'd like more is to have some, un well, obscured side would be very nice. I think we'll redeploy to this position here. So what I'm going to do then is I'm going to have this team load back up into their vehicle. What we'll do then is we'll select this vehicle here. Uh, load. So what we're going to do then is we're going to have this one move. Uh, now what we need to do then is we actually need to uh, put into effect the standard operating procedure here. So this would be quite important. Uh, something I have to point out as well. Uh, this, this, um, well, this unit over here obviously operates as a unit. So we have the headquarters of the actual lead vehicle, as well as the other vehicle within the actual force. Now, I can issue orders separately to these vehicles, but this does actually slow down their order response, which is important to note. So what we will be doing here then is I will have them move fast over to this position, drop off the uh, scouts, and then move back over here ideally. What we'll do then is I'll take this vehicle again. Get rid of that last waypoint. Then again, this could be very dangerous. What we'll do then is we'll have you move over here. I'll have them move just one. Get back, okay. We'll unload and then the scouts can actually move there. Well, make their way over there. Now this scout team has some very good line of sight. Over two and a half thousand meters. Almost three thousand meters in some areas. This is very good. I'd imagine, as you can see here, we have the main deployment box for most of our forces, the four deployment for our scout forces, our reconnaissance forces. Of course, the enemy has much the same as well. So we are going to be uh, very much, I mean, we could potentially be very close to the enemy here. There's a lot of play flaw. That is something that we do have to uh, really bear in mind. Now, <laughs> we could Zerg rush for the center. I think what we want to do here is actually take a look at the center. What is there for us that benefits us? Now, we do have these large buildings. These buildings are very commanding. They do have a superb line of sight over the battlefield. The position that we have over here, uh, though it does offer some good line of sight down here, it's not very great. I think what we'd like to do then is potentially uh, move one of our forces, one of our scout infantry units down this way. Uh, potentially both of them, to be fair. We may have the time during this uh, opening stage of the battle. And what I could do is I could actually deploy smoke along this line here, uh, potentially just to give them a little bit more time, a little bit more cover. Though, depending on if the British are uh, using thermal equipment, uh, that may not do us any, uh, well, uh, any uh, good, so to say. Now, we do have the BRDM-2 reconnaissance vehicles. Obviously, these ones are equipped with just the normal heavy machine gun as well as coaxial machine gun. So nothing, uh, nothing really amazing. The armor is incredibly light here, only 14 millimeters. Though they operate as a reconnaissance unit. So what we'll do then is we'll take a look at their positioning really. Now, do I want to deploy a vehicle within the trees? It's probably the best I'm going to get in terms of concealment. Though... Ah, this time there are no thermals in 1974 scenario, but Chieftain's a deadly long-range opponent. Well, that's fantastic, then. So using these smoke rounds is actually going to be very beneficial. I'm still somewhat uh, reluctant. Now, I could deploy them within the trees here, quite deep within the forest. That may give us a potential advantage. I'm just very reluctant to deploy here. I think the best we could probably do, then, is just have a scout unit just some way back here. I think with them being vehicles, they're going to be very much open to being destroyed from a distance. I think we're probably better off using infantry just to really have uh, eyes in these trees. So, let's see. We do have you here. Uh, you do obviously have line of sight over this road. If I deploy you a little bit further forward, you're probably going to be destroyed, but you might have a better line of sight from... Yes, about here. So, yeah, we'll have them deploy there. So, let's advance you. Right, we'll have you move fast. Have you look in that direction. Now this vehicle. I may have that one actually move down to this position here. That could be quite good. Yes, we'll have them occupy that position. I think uh, they should do well enough there. Okay, have them move quite fast, quite rapidly. Uh, have them point in that direction. Now I do have an additional two reconnaissance vehicles. What we'll do with these then is we'll take a look at this uh, forest over here. I want something that overlooks the road, but I don't want to be directly overlooked by the road either. 
That's a very good position there. So what we'll do then is we'll deploy one of our vehicles in that position right there. Have them face that way. Now, I don't want anything up over this way. I think it's too dangerous. Far, far too dangerous. Yes, we do have off-map artillery. Uh, for example, we have 18 guns here. Whether they be towed guns, whether they be uh, SPGs, or whether they be uh, rockets. We'll find out soon enough. But yes, we definitely do have uh, off-map artillery. Now that position... Yes, uh, this works well enough for me. What we'll do then is we'll have you actually... We'll have you reverse into that position then. That'll work fine enough. Now what we need to do then is actually give out our standard operating procedure here. So we'll go over to SOP, Standard Operating Procedure. Um, <laughs> do we hold fire on hard targets or would you just set them to effective? We use the effective range. We'll use a range at which they might actually have a chance. We'd like to see plotters of your tactics, reconnaissance screen followed by the main body. Uh, shift all the weakest points and keep rolling forward. Loads of smoke of artillery. Yes, well that is a good point actually. This is what I'm considering by having these guns, actually having a few of them deployed to uh, put down smoke to begin with. I think what we need to be careful of though is, of course, at this stage of the battle, is not deploying our hand too soon. We need to hold back uh, somewhat in reserve until we have a, a good picture of the enemy and then we can move forward. Though that does not mean that we won't be moving forward with armoured assets. We'll be moving them to this position here. What I want them to do really is be in a position where they can overwatch on this road. Uh, while I'll be covered from this direction here. Let's see. Yes, you do have line of sight from this position here. Uh, you don't quite cover the bridge. If I move you forward, yes, you have unobscured line of sight. Now, I could place you within the trees here. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect. This will be brilliant for us. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's going to definitely be a slugfest. Uh, so what we need to do then is when it comes to the actual town is... Um, we'd be better off actually using our infantry. Have them mechanized in there, to be honest. Uh, we'll have these forces move as a group and then we'll uh, micromanage them a little bit more to have them spread out quite effectively. We do have mechanized infantry over here as well. Uh, though what I'm going to do here, standard operating procedures, effective. I'm going to have them move through the covered path rather than basically uh, moving via the road, which might not uh, be the best way to move. We'll set these same orders for other units here. Set them to move via covered roads. These guys I'm going to use as a, something as a hammer. I'm going to keep them in reserve for some time here. And we do have our strellas over here. We do need them deployed. I think what we could do here then is potentially we could have them within the trees here. Uh, at least then they will be obscured. Indeed. So what we'll do then is we'll have them just move within here. Then we'll micromanage them more efficiently. Just to make sure that they actually deploy in a good position. Uh, we do have the SPAAs. These are very nice. <laughs> very, very effective. The range isn't too great, however. Yeah, uh, 0 to 2,500 meters. So definitely not the longest range here, but their sheer rate of fire is very effective. At the end of the day, if you're in a lightly armored helicopter, you don't want to be hit by these 20, well, 23 millimeter shells, do you? You don't want to be hit by four of them. You don't want to be hit by hundreds of them. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be great. Now, we do have our mechanized elements over here. I think what we should do is uh, this one over here. I think we'll have advanced straight into the town. Uh, ideally as fast as absolutely possible. Have them move uh, directly into the town. Then what we'll do is we'll offload here, just somewhat near the centre of the town here. I do have my other mechanised elements. Uh, what I'm going to do is actually set their formation. Let's see. I can't affect the, well, the formation as of yet. What I'm going to do then... I'm going to have them move up to this position over here. They can then deploy their forces just outside of a forest. I would like to keep some forces in reserve. So possibly what we could have here is I don't want to deploy in this position here. Now granted we do have a very high um, elevation but the thing is that might make us more observable to the enemy. So I think what we'll do then is we'll approach this rather differently. What I'm going to do here is take a look at this as uh, just a normal map just so we can get a better picture of what's going on here. Uh, so we can see here this is going to be a very effective chill point. 
Now, the enemy could, of course, move down this road. Um, I don't think they will. I think the AI will recognize that this is going to be quite a threat. Now, the AI is very competent. Do bear that in mind. Uh, the terrain over here is not very good. This looks like some kind of, like, swamp land, some kind of, like, marshes. Yes, uh, vehicle traffic ability 20. Yeah, 80. So this is significantly worse train to actually move upon. So we can see here they really only have uh, a choice of moving through the actual forest or moving up the road. So what we'll do then is we'll take a look over here. So from this position, we don't quite have line of sight. I could see down this way, but I can't see the actual bridge. And this is where it comes down to is the bridge. There's something to be said for having some armoured forces actually deployed um, in this position here. Which I might actually go for, to be honest. Having command of this position here would give us three 125mm guns to really light up anything that moves or dares to move within the centre. So I think we'll go for something like that. Uh, then as well, it does give us the option of having some potential reserves for this area here. We'll have them move fast, but obviously move covered. To move to that area. And then I'll uh, micromanage them into their positions from there. I do have the SPAAs over here as well to the north. Uh, what we'll do is we'll probably have them in the position here. Um, probably just behind the trees. Yeah, this might do very well. Somewhere they're not going to be sighted by the enemy. Okay, we have our headquarter units over here. I'm going to move you up to this position. As far behind the trees as you can be, ideally. Okay. Uh... We'll lay down some artillery cover. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up Fire Mission Moscow. Call this Moscow 1. Now I'm going to make this quite a long... About, yeah, about uh, uh, 450 meters. Might be a little bit too much. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll task free... Yeah, we'll say about... Uh, we'll task about six, six guns to them. So three volleys of smoke rounds. We'll make that for it. Eh. Yeah, make that five. Okay. Now, of course, you can see here with our type of reference points, that means it can be done pretty much uh, immediately in the future. A very short time, only about two minutes in the future. At the start of the battle, it can be done immediately, which is very good. So what I'll do then is I'll lay down some smoke around about here. Not too close to the actual bridge, because I do want to have the line of sight over what crosses. But here should be good. They're going to immediately open fire once ready. Now I'm going to set up two additional uh, fire missions. So Moscow 2. We'll use six guns again. Uh, now notice that we do have 756 well, high explosive rounds. I think what we should probably do here then. Even potentially just use uh, quite a heavy bombardment. So 60 rounds. Fairly small. But it may be worthwhile to actually think about maybe... Um, shelling one of the main roads into the actual area here. Or we might be able to shell suspected positions. So I'd say these are suspected positions. I'd imagine if the enemy does have something like a dismounted scout team, they will definitely be deploying in this area. So I think what we'll do then is we'd ideally like to take these positions here. But they are definitely at a risk. So ideally we'll move some mechanized forces in here to actually um, alleviate that risk. But I'm going to shell this building. Oh, this, oh. I think this building here could have some command in line of sight. Yes. If they have that building here, they have some extremely good coverage. So what I'm going to do then is make this a very small, very narrow fire mission. I'll reduce the amount of uh, explosive rounds. But I do want this building destroyed. Ideally, this area just made... Uh, Turn to rubble, I suppose you could say. Yeah, we could try to actually destroy past the town, set fires past the town, just to slow down mobility. Hmm. We'll do the same again, so we'll repeat this. So this will be Moscow free. Let's have a similar order. There we go. We'll bring this building down over here as well. I could actually cover part of the bridge as well, so this might actually uh, hit any units that may be over this position. Now our forces over here. Now we do have the ATGM carriers. These are very important. I think what I'd like to do is actually keep them in reserve for some time. Now we do have a very open well, center here. So having some ATGMs concealed until the last moment may actually be very beneficial. 
We don't know if we might be able to catch something moving across here. The last thing I want to do is actually engage something like a Chieftain, frontally. These ATGMs are powerful, but frontally it's not going to quite have that same chance. However, from the side we do have a much better target profile. We also do have a much more significant chance to actually survive. As uh, we do have to bear in mind, these are guided munitions. And again, this is actually quite some distance over here. You do have small points of line of sight here, but nothing great. Right, that's somewhat respectable here. We do have some decent line of sight. Nothing too major. Okay. Now, if I deploy up to that position, you can see here that we do have a very good line of sight. But I think... What we'll do then is actually... Hmm. I'll keep them in reserve for the moment. But I might want to do some overwatch down this area here. So potentially move uh, some ATGMs or just well, a single single force of them potentially. I don't want to move them. Yeah, height map's a good idea. Let's see, what do we see from this area? That's actually very nice. That is very, very nice. I like that. Okay, that's an excellent position for the ATGMs. We'll have them <laughs> actually move to this area here. And then obviously what I'll do then is uh, micromanage them into a correct position. Make sure we get the best coverage. Yeah, we actually do have some nice positions over here at the rear. Very good for us. Excellent, excellent. Okay. I like this position. They're fairly well protected. So what we'll do then is we'll give them the standard operating procedures of only effective. I don't want them to really just... Go willy-nilly. Half-cocked, I suppose you could say. Right. Now we do have our mechanized forces over here. I think what we need to do then is potentially keep uh, some mechanized around this area just to ensure security of the flank. We'll then deploy two units of mechanized here um, into the actual center. This town, I think, is far too far for us actually to be able to make it to. And I don't think it would be worth the actual risk of trying to get there. So what we'll do, effective and use a covered path. We'll have you deploy. Now, apologies about the long setup. I know you guys want to see some action here, but we're trying to make the best use of the actual train that we have. We'll have you deploy there. We do have additional mechanized movement in here, so it might not be worthwhile to actually have uh, all of our forces here. It might be worthwhile to have one unit to actually cover this area, uh, one in reserve, and then one to move up to this section of the town. But the reserve might move over to here. Yeah, that'd work out great. Okay, so we'll have you move up rapidly. Unload your forces here, relatively close to the center of the town. These forces I'll have... Uh, we'll have them move up over here. They can be kept in reserve behind the trees. These forces, what I'll do then is I'll split them up and move them individually. So, if I deploy them to this actual town here, uh, this could be relatively effective. Let's see, do we have any line of sight from here? Yes, superb line of sight. What I'll do then is we'll have them move up to this position here, uh, have them deploy their infantry, and then we can move the infantry into these actual buildings. I think with the SPAAs, uh, yes, uh, we'll have them move up probably about here. Okay. So we're more or less ready to go here. We have smoke to be landed here, we have two volleys uh, of artillery to land, and we have our armoured forces moving. Okay, not all of our armoured, but the vast majority of it. Our scout forces will be moving. We'll have this bridge covered here, and this will be covered as much as we can do. We begin the battle now. Okay, so we are firing rockets at Moscow 3. Right, we've already sighted an enemy unit here. This is a FV-101 Scorpion. Now, who has sighted you? You're being spotted by this force here. So what it may be worth doing then is just having them cancel their movement there. Uh, have them just actually go back into their position here. For as long as we maintain sight, we might be able to kill it from somewhere. So far, only you have line of sight over that. That's fine. 
But this is a example of the enemy deploying its forge unit. And here we go, we have another example here. Uh, this force needs to stop, so just hop. Right, we accidentally move them as a force together. That's fine. What I can do here is I can actually just leap that. There we go. We'll have them move out. You'll halt. Uh, we are seeing a FV-101 here. This scorpion could be quite effective here. Uh, very much comes off to who gets the first round. Uh, we are equipped with AT-3B Saga ATGMs. We also do have a 73mm gun, the 2A-28. Now the 2A-28 has... Let's see... Uh, you... Right, okay. High explosive frag, and we have high explosive anti-tank rounds. Again, this is CE, not KE. They may not be as quite effective. It's not going to be quite as uh, punchy. So... Penetration is still fairly effective. Yeah, penetration is the same of all ranges, which is very good. So we should be able to take it out with a high explosive anti-tank round, should we actually land that first hit. Uh, we do, of course, have the ATGMs as well. Um, the FE-101 seems to have not sighted us as of this moment. Hopefully we get a killer shot. Uh, we do get a shot in. FE-101 is not yet alert. Okay. Firing for effect. Smoke will be landing here shortly. Now some of our forces have already arrived in the area. Very good. Uh, other forces are moving. It's going to take them a little bit more time to move out. Right. So you're still concealed, I do believe. I may have you just reverse... Okay, yes, you're still concealed here. That's fantastic. Forces are moving into the town. We do have our armor moving out over here as well. Right, ATGM out. So we are running things on slow here. Uh, the FE-101 Scorpion is actually a hold position here, making itself an ideal target for the ATGM here. You can see the actual... Uh, of course, I'm running this slow, but these ATGMs don't move very quickly. And Tiger confirmed destroyed. Now, that's very important. We can also see our rounds landing down here. Oof. Rockets inbound. Good. Direct hit. Some fire. Okay. So we can see here our BMP is taking fire. So what we're going to do then is we're going to pop... Right, I can't seem to pop smoke. Uh, okay, we need to get you the heck out of dodge. First... Right, it's not worth it moving here, so what we're going to do then is, uh... Delay, well, delay that order, have them deploy in here. <laughs> Sebastian Gorka. <laughs> I actually don't know who that is. <laughs> is it actually, is it Gorka? Or, my, or, am, I, or am I thinking of Gorky? I can't remember it now. <laughs> um, I'll take it as a compliment. We can see we have multiple FV-101 Scorpions here in the center. So nothing too terrible. We have taken fire here. Ideally, we can get you to uh, reverse course and get the heck out of there. Seems like you have actually deployed your smoke. Right, yes, there we go. We've got eyes on enemy vehicle. That seems to be some kind of ATGM carrier. It may be... Is it the swing fire that the British would have had at this point? Uh, right, okay. We do have line of sight on the FV-101. Armor. It would probably not be worthwhile holding while well, opening up here. Uh, so I'm going to tell you to hold fire. Please uh, take that order. Hold. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to kill it, so just please hold fire. It's going to take over a minute for those uh, orders to arrive. The ZSU has been immobilized. Yeah, I'd say that's because they moved through the woods here. Uh, not a terrible thing we can recover from that. I do have some more mechanized forces over here. Uh, what I'm going to do then is we'll have them just advance up to this point over here. I'm going to change their formation, uh, move that to free formation. Okay, we don't yet have mechanized in place. Right, you do have shot out here. Do I have them hold fire? Well, hold their position to try and kill it. Um, it's going to take them a few seconds for that order to go through anyway. Right, come on, kill it with your 73mm. Uh, miss there. 
Okay, no damage, but the FE 101 does not yet have line of sight over us as of this moment. Our headquarter element is moving up. It should be soon within range. So ideally that should speed up that time. Don't... Oh, you do carry smoke. At least we do have an option here. So should we have a suggestion that the FV-101 has line of sight, we should probably pull back. Right, we... Ooh, wow. Okay. <laughs> Nicely done there. Right, explosive anti attack rounds. So our reconnaissance vehicle here, the uh, BRDM... Sorry, the BMP-1 is actually doing some very effective work. Uh, what armor do you have here? So you're equipped with 35mm of frontal armor. Which is... Yeah, that's not too bad, actually. Right, right. Now, I could move up my TIG-64 uh, TIG to this position here, but I don't want to play my hand as of yet. I think what we'll do here then is we'll reconsider where our artillery is going. Uh, we do have our smoke rounds landing here. Uh, that's very good, but it's also very good for the enemy. Right. I've turned your turret there. I think they don't quite yet have information. Now, I could call in a fire mission here with the DPICM. Um, I would say it's probably a little bit overkill, though. To deal with these forces rather effectively, we just need to actually get a, uh, a unit in position that can handle that. Forces are moving through here. Ideally, they don't get uh, bogged down, but we should be okay. Now, the thing to bear in mind here is that we do not actually have air support. It would have been very, very nice. I heard what sounded like smoke rounds being deployed. Okay, take the shot. Right. ATGM. Now you are firing your heavy machine gun API. The penetration, yeah. Uh, so best case scenario is 37 millimeters at 300, yeah, 25, 16, beyond that. Uh, we'll take a look at the actual distance here. Ooh, that's almost a thousand meters. So we'll take a look at what the penetration values will be. Yeah, somewhere between <laughs> nine uh, and four. So there's no chance of that actually penetrating. Infantry's moving up here. Uh, the mechanized is not yet here. It's on its way as fast as possible. But so far, we do have a pretty good kill ratio here. Well... There we go, target down. So we destroyed three enemy vehicles along this path. And most importantly, FV-101 scout vehicle, as well as what may have been potentially ATGM carrying uh, vehicles, or even potentially infantry carrying vehicles. That's very good. So what we'll do then is we'll have you actually advance up to this position here, and you can look over this way. Uh, you're going to deploy in your scout forces here. That'll be very, very good. Now, ATGM carriers are moving into position uh, I'm going to actually have you just just move around about there. I don't want you to be actually exposed. Uh, I do have my headquarters units over here. Uh, I'm going to have that actually push up to this position here. Do need to use our headquarters. Now, let's see. If I was to decide to engage these uh, scorpions, where could I do that from? I could push up to this position here. Uh, they have deployed smoke. I'm somewhat reluctant to do this because at the end of the day, I don't want to reveal my hand here. I don't want to reveal the uh, mighty forces of the Soviet Union. I think what we may do when it's potentially calling a, for a, a small fire mission, uh, we do only have 108 rounds of uh, DPI-ICM. That's probably not the best use of it. Let's see. If I was to actually target this area, it would take us about two minutes. I could increase the amount of rounds landing, so we may have an actual better chance what we'll do is we'll call a fire mission in here. Uh, this building has been rather heavily damaged, I'd say. And we do have our smoke down here. Okay. Mechanized assets are moving into the town, towards the town, but very quickly. Uh, so far, so good. Did you just destroy another vehicle? Or was that just the one I just saw? I'm going to assume it was the one I just saw. But we do see smoke being launched here. Uh, we have a fire here, very nice. But it's not the actual main building on fire. We are moving to occupy this large building here, that'd be very good. 
So far, so good. Right, we are taking direct fire. Uh, now, this is something I have been warned about, is that the British have the fastest artillery, or at least the fastest reacting artillery. Uh, so I'd imagine they have SPGs over here. And the LOLO there, no wow's off. How you doing, my friend? So far, so good. Uh, BMP... Is it BMP? BM... Uh, BMP-1 has actually destroyed three enemy vehicles. We are calling our fire mission here and it over onto the FV-101s. Uh, yes, this is what I was fearing. So I'm going to pop smoke. You want to take a fire? Pop smoke, pop smoke. Roger. Yeah. I just suspected. Potentially we should have deployed our uh, smoke sometime sooner. But we did seem to be okay. Okay, so we don't have direct line of sight as of this moment. Right, they're advancing now. Absolutely, rounds continue to land here. Okay, so we'll push the actual infantry up to here. The vehicles can remain about here. Okay. Now the infantry will be deploying soon from these vehicles. I suppose this isn't too bad. I mean, we've lost um, a very low, uh, low priority vehicle, so not bad really. We've had a nice, effective uh, trade off there. Yeah, they are moving towards the center of town here. The mechanizers moving into the town. Well, motorized, I should be saying. Right, the scout team is taking fire. I would very much say that the British probably have line of sight over us. It may be time to redeploy, actually. I will move on to that position. I'll have the vehicle actually reverse over to this position as well. These houses over here, they do have a very commanding line of sight, so actually it may be worthwhile for the strategy to push them back over here. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll cancel your order. I'll cancel your order as well. I'll tell the vehicle here to load up those infantrymen, well, scouts, uh, we can move back here. I might do the same as well here, to be fair. At least they're going to be near you. Well, then again, no, we'll keep that one there. Do need to be careful about that indirect fire. Right. I think what we may want to do here, then, is uh, take our smoke from Moscow 1. 12 minutes, 2 minutes. What I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, drop some smoke down here. Now I'm going to cancel Moscow 2. We do have a few seconds, so we might get our... Well, then again, I think they've moved already from this position. We'll cancel Moscow 2. We'll set that back up then, so Moscow 2. Have you obviously ready with uh, high explosive? But we'll keep that in reserve. I need to move up some actual. The thing is, these FE 101s are actually pretty formidable. I'm gonna have you pop some up once you arrive in that position there. Right, our elements have just moved into the town. Now, these guys are only equipped with heavy machine guns, so the infantry will have to move out on foot. That should be somewhat capable. I could have uh, some of the 64s move into the town. Uh, which may be just worthwhile. <laughs> why deploy smoke when you can deploy poisonous smoke? <laughs> what, like, white phosphorus? That stuff, I mean, I suppose it's not poisonous. But, well, I suppose it is poisonous, it's just more so the fact it actually bloody burns. But yeah, that will do the job. Okay, we are going to move some T-64s towards the town here. I'm going to have them move just on the outskirts of the town, and then we'll move in. Uh, we can see line of sight on the FB-101. Uh, what's he spotting that? Right, okay. You've been spotted over there. You can see here they probably would have moved out of the actual, um, line of fire. The ATGM, how are you doing there? Are you ready to fight yet? Right, we need to just move you a little bit forward. Then again, then again. Well, 
not seeing too terribly much from here. We do have our other 80 gems. There we go. We just need to get them the right one. Okay, so what we're going to do is move you up. Here. Your position. Yeah, we'll have you reposition there. Okay. As affected from that spot. Have you move up there. What I'm doing here is trying to deploy them in the best spot, really. Now, that would be very effective. Not quite covered in the road, but we do have some line of sight over it. Your position here, you could potentially spot that. That seems very effective. We'll have them redeploy to that position there. So, cancel those orders. Obviously, have them look that way. Okay, mechanized, not yet in position as of yet. Obviously, they're moving slow because I've told them to move by the covered path. So, they're moving through cover. There's obviously the potential that they could get caught up, but we'll see. Right, now you should be deploying your forces. Just in case, I'll tell them to unload. Right, we'll have reinforcements soon enough. Now, I do have my infantry over here, so what I'm going to do is actually tell them to move up to that position. You can move up to that position there as well. Then, uh, I suppose it might be worthwhile to keep one unit here somewhere in the center. So I'll have them there just to make sure we have something covered in the center. Uh, the year is it? Is it 1973? Let's see. I think it's 1973. <laughs> I can't remember now. <laughs> but yes, it's also 2018. Right, there we go. That smoke's definitely doing its job now. Okay, right, what do we have here? Uh, we had something lined up there. Uh, I'd imagine that's a HMG. Not what I want. Okay, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to have these guys pop smoke. Uh, tell them to actually hold fire as well. Hold fire. Okay, uh, infantry assets are in, well, motorized assets are in the town here. Uh, so we are going to move up towards the center. It would be ideal if we had our headquarters nearby. Yep, you've unloaded over there. Okay, what I'm going to do then is have you move down ASAP. Uh, we do need a headquarter element just to move up, just to make sure that we can actually get uh, orders relayed more effectively. So I'm going to take a risk here and move you quite far up. Probably about there is probably the safest. Okay. Yeah, indeed. I'm not looking forward to seeing chieftains. Now, they should be protected. It's going to take just over a minute for those orders to be relayed. Uh, yeah, this is the issue when you have uh, relatively light armaments. I do have T-64s moving up over here, so at least we do have some definitive uh, killing power there. Right, now what I'm going to do then, you are loaded up, is we're going to have you move back over here. You're going to move up this way. Fine. These things are actually relatively effective with their ATGMs and their 73mm guns. Right, so I'm going to figure... Yeah, they're just moving into the town now. Um, okay. They're set to contact orders here. Hello, we spotted rotary ring. Right. This is what I was talking about. So you can see here the enemy is trying... Uh, to spot our forces. I imagine they do have sight on us right now. Um, right, smoke out. What we may do then is... I could obscure our position here. 
what I'm going to do then is I'm going to give these guys orders. So, smoke generator on. Now, should they receive that order relatively quick? Yeah, I don't think they'll have that uh, order relayed through in time. All we can do there is an option for uh, smoke generator, so basically we'll trail smoke behind. Now, I do have an answer to this um, helicopter. Bomb and Estrella, but not too keen on moving up there. No, we do not have the benefit of air support in this mission, though the enemy clearly does. We just have to lay down some more, uh, more smoke rounds. If the helicopter can see us, uh, so be it. I don't think it's too heavily armed. If he's armed, it'll probably be carrying 80 GMs, which is dangerous. Don't get me bloody wrong there, but uh, I'll not be carrying many of them. Right. Mm, very much could be a Jaguar. Okay, our force is moving up over here. Uh, we do have T-64s ready to move in as well. Uh, so what I'm going to do then is have them move freely. Uh, I'll have the space in rod down too. Form a line. Have them uh, redeploy. Right, smoke rounds are out. Moscow 1 is done. What I'm going to do is have Moscow 1 redeployed. I think potentially... Or the fighter bomber. Well, that could be a very big potential. And what we'll do then is we'll deploy smoke in this area too. I'm trying to actually obscure the British forces line of sight over here. I've accepted that I'm basically going to make it to about this area. If I obscure the British forces uh, vision behind that, uh, that is going to give us some nice cover. It's also going to have to, uh, well, make them move out. Right, so mechanized forces are now just going into position. We're soon I'll be able to move some elements into the trees here. ATGMs, what is your line sight like? Uh, right, okay, so your line sight here is not great. Um... Yeah, I think we're aware of that, aren't we? Uh, it's not terribly good, but I might move to that position. That's actually a better position. We'll move over there. Something to be said uh, with just dealing with it, but we'll move them. I get the best. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, so you are equipped with ATGMs. Uh, that looks like four ATGMs, I'd imagine. Uh, good thing we are calling down smoke. Uh, okay, so what we're going to do then is we're going to have you unload into here. Then obviously the infantry can move into the actual building. Uh, they have the range. You are ready as well. Okay, what I will do is have you reattach. I think it would be a fool's errand to actually move in closer to the ATGM carrying helicopter. At the end of the day, it's definitely going to have a much better chance of spotting something moving, isn't it? Okay. We are moving our infantry through the town. Right, target spotted. And we do have a flanking shot here. Uh, the FV-101 has sighted us. It's definitely going to come off to uh, who gets the first shot here, really. Uh, do we have the shot? We are using RPG-7. Come on, get the shot in there. Target destroyed. FV-101 down. So our T-64 is taking fire. Right, you're taking fire. That means you are definitely spotted. Uh, so we can have them all pop smoke. And uh, now that's rather unfortunate. Uh, we'll have to move into this position here. Out of sight of the enemy. I do have some mechanized E reserve. But pop smoke, then move. But first kill down here. few seconds. Make sure they pop smoke.
Yeah, it looks like high explosive rounds landing. I imagine it's probably low ammunition cooking off. Ah, uh, right, okay. Uh, I'm going to have you move up. You need to move up. You're still smoked, so you can't see anything as of this moment. Yeah, that Scorpion won't be stinging. <laughs> yeah. Right, continue to move up through the town. I deal to this position here. I think what we'll do then is have you cancel your order. Have you, um, what, deepen into the town here for a little bit more defense in depth. Okay, so our forces are just about ready here. They're just uh, starting to deploy. But they will be deploying soon. Uh, what I'll do then is just cancel that order, tell them to unload as they are, then we'll move forces into the trees here. Um, armor is making its way up here. Yeah, we are taking in direct fire, so that does sound like the enemy is dropping HE. Right, so only two rounds landing per volley, so nothing too terrible. Uh, it definitely seems like the enemy has a line of sight on us. Uh, we are seeing a tracked vehicle, so that might be even potentially be the uh, dreaded chieftain. Uh, Musk One fire mission is out, that's more smoke. Okay. Uh, what we're going to do here then is I'm going to move these forces up. We're going to move through here. From this position. Lion size poor. But I want them in a position where we can then deploy them. Right, we have line of sight here. Uh, additional FV 101 Scorpion. Okay, this is not a great position. And what we may have to do then is actually... Uh, actually, this is a great position. Yes, 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 yes. Right, hold position. Cancel orders. Cancel order. Cancel order. Have you rotate that way. Have you... Fast and then into that position. Rotate. Lead vehicle could move... That position there. Okay, this might play out very well for us here. FV-432. Okay, we definitely saw a track vehicle, however. That FV-101 is a hole in ass. Don't think he'll make it out. MG fired out. Things we'll have to pull back these forces then. Right, the British are learning here that the town is uh, not where you want to be. Okay. I'm going to bring down some fire on this area here, so we'll take our fire support, uh, we'll take this, increase the amount of, uh, we could actually do with increasing the size of our radios. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll cancel Moscow free, we'll reform Moscow free. Uh, we could use DPICM, but I'd rather save that. We'll have that increased, that'll do fine. Right, two minutes. That FV 101's dead, I'd imagine. Definitely if they do train the uh, 125. You are receiving fire though, so that means you have been spotted. Okay, yeah, we might as well probably just retreat from this position here. Uh, so what we'll do then is we'll pop smoke and then pull back. What I'm going to do is have these forces reattach. So reattach, burst, out of here. All right, I have both of my... Um, D64s over here. So I'm going to put them in free formation. Have you move there. Uh, just move over here out of the way. You can continue on your route down here. Have you actually in position to cover the bridge. Uh, infantry has been deployed. Let's rise is out. What I'm going to do then is have you move up into a contact position there. Contact position round about here. Uh, contact position round about here. Give us some line of sight ideally. The vehicles carrying them are only HMG, so nothing particularly spectacular. Oh, they don't have pop-up smoke, oh dear. <laughs> Not good. Right. Just reverse, get the heck out of there. Okay, is it the Scorpion that's engaging us then? That's not too bad. Oh, 1115. These are T-62s. 
Well, it shot out, but you uh, don't connect. Oscar 1, tag of this area. We'll obscure the enemy. Yo, yo, yo. Right, I totally landed down here. We'll move these vehicles out of this position. Uh, they're relatively useless to us now, so I, I don't particularly want to lose them, though. Right, more forces have arrived in the town. Move uh, forces up here, cover the flanks. There we go, moving in. Um, there's a chance that it can be... SPGs, there's a chance it can be rockets, actually. Yeah, those BTRs are taking fire. You need to get that killer shot off. Right, swing fire. Okay, if we take that down, it's going to be a good, good target. Please, kill it. Okay, now you've been engaged. Hit, no damage. No damage. Uh, yes, the big gunning crosses are the TRPs. Okay, it looks like the enemy is definitely advancing here. Swing fire, swing fire. FE 432. Okay, enemies definitely making a big push here towards the center. Uh, in actual reality, I have very little. I do have my T-64s I could counter with. Where would be the best place to counter? Uh, if I move them out into the planes here, we do have line of sight. The ATGM do not have line of sight as of yet. Uh, they will be able to... So what I could do is I could move them up. Yes, if I move them up, they'll actually be able to hit there. Brilliant. Okay, so move up. Rotate that way. ATGM. Uh, nothing as of yet. Okay. What I'm going to do then is we are going to take these T64s. This position. Perfect. Okay, I'm going to take your formation to three. I'm going to move through the earth. Ideally, engage the enemy. Right, we do have shots out, we have artillery raining down upon us. Uh, artillery will be landing here within about 30 seconds. Oh dear. Um, yes, this is not good. We also have Chieftain here. Uh, the enemy is making a big push here in the center. Uh, smoke will be launched soon. What we're going to do then is take Moscow 2, which is actually, let's see, Moscow 3, Moscow 1. Moscow 2 will be change to DPICM. Use the amount of rounds here. Now, what I could do is, well, we might take a figure of over here. Give it some time. The enemy's moving up. That T64 needs to move out of our position right now. They're dead of wise. I think they're dead. ATGM's flying out here. Gun fire's engaging. Destroyed. I'm going to say destroyed. Destro Ooh, not destroyed, but destroyed soon enough. If you don't get the hell out of dodge. Right, shots running out. Uh, this is actually quite the uh, <laughs> firefight. Right, ATGM out from multiple angles. We do have... RPG? Oh, AA missile. Fantastic, actually. Mm. Uh, T-64s will be moving up to engage. We may support this for an additional T-64 platoon. Move up to this position here. Uh, set them to free formation. The enemy is now pushing us into a position that I'm not entirely happy with here. Uh, I was hoping that we'd have our forces deployed in a much better position. What I may do then is actually have this uh, T-64, the T-64, T-62. I do have my reserves over here, which I am going to move uh, towards this area here. Do have other reserves as well. Ah, oh, please survive. Ooh. Yeah, taking hit after hit. ATGM coming in. Right, we've lost T62. That was inevitable. Oh dear. Right, uh, get into the actual vehicle. Into the actual building here, sorry. 
Uh, ATGM out. And this is the issue. This uh, helicopter is obviously quite high. I could move up my strellas to engage. What we'll do then is move them up. ATGM out. Yeah, say goodbye. Ooh, you survive. We have lost an additional T-62. Yeah, that was the issue. I think these guys got caught out. Now, see, <clears throat> had I not moved these vehicles covered, they would have been in position already. So this is it. We do have to bear in mind that there's consequences to our actions here. Uh, the enemy should, pending, be caught out. Now, they are moving a mix of chiefs and swing fires. Uh, the FV-101 probably lighten us up here for the enemy. I think what we'll do then is we'll just have you rotate in this direction. Uh, I do have some surviving T-62s, one over here as well. Uh, so I'm going to have to just try and keep them alive for the time being, so have you just rotate. We need them to survive. I do have T-62s that will be moving up here. I do have two, well, I have T-64s in the town here. Uh, what I'll do then is have them rotate. And what we'll do then is have them move to cover the road here. Rotate that way, have you cover that way. Right, artillery inbound, bring the rain. Right, helicopters are moving. Our vehicles do survive over here. Now, this area is heavily obscured by smoke. We'll have more smoke landing there. just in time. So this is going to obscure their vision quite nicely. May give us time to actually redeploy our T-64s. Uh, this area is not doing well. I mean, we lost two T-62s over there, which I'm not happy about. Um, I think what I may be best off doing is actually not deploying beyond this area here. I do have T-64s in position here. Now, uh, their line of sight, however, is going to be in question. Uh, they see nothing as of this moment. If we move forward here... Uh, we do expose ourselves. So I think what we're better off doing here then is have them in a ready position. Take up positions behind the houses here so that they can surprise the enemy. Hmm. Ah, <laughs> indeed. We'll have DP ICM coming in soon. Four seconds. Uh, time for effect. I was just saying, should I cancel? Well, I was thinking, should I cancel that? But we may catch something out here. Right, rockets. That's what I need. Superb. Artillery inbound. Then we'll redeploy that here. What I'm going to do is actually start to redeploy Moscow 1. In Moscow 3. I would cover about here. Artillery inbound. And that's what we need. Right, Moscow 1's going to move up. We're going to use the actual smoke here to compound the enemy. <laughs> in 76 now. Right, inbound. Very effective here. We have uh, ideally damaged the chieftain. Nice, we may kill this chieftain if we're lucky. Very nice. Very nice. Enemy vehicle down. Come on, bring the rain. Bring that thunder. Very, very good here. Looks like that chieftain might be pulling out. Another chieftain there. Oh, superb. I think that's that chieftain. It's still alive, but yeah, I can imagine that might have taken some damage. Now, we do have an opportunity here. Do we actually flank with the T-64s? We may be able to engage the enemy while they're out in the open here. Uh... It's a very, very risky move, this. But I think we may have to take that opportunity. Now, uh, our vehicle here. Damn, they just never quite have that line of sight I want. Okay, what we'll do then is we'll have them move up. 
they can actually get in contact. Right, we're going to move forward. Yeah, you should just stay here. There we go. Right, T-62 is still alive. Limited trees. Okay. The enemy did catch us unawares here. Uh, but we still have the ability to fight back. I also do have ATGMs here. What we're going to do then is we're actually going to move contact order. We may be able to get some ATGMs uh, off here. Right, we are going to have our artillery rearmed. So, cancel that. What I'm going to do is we'll call this Moscow 2 again. Go 2. Increase the size here. We'll increase the volley. PICM. And we only have 42 rounds, so this is going to be the last here. Obviously, yeah. 42 rounds. Really hoping this may be enough. Do we... Do we wait? I think we'll wait. I'll keep that in reserve. Those 42 rounds in reserve. As soon as the enemy is moving up over here. Uh, Moscow 3 will be landing shortly. Houston's moving. Uh, we do have additional T-64s moving into position. Uh, now these guys are armed with ATGMs. These are going to be very effective. Right, T-64 has line of sight. But I think what we should do here is actually pull back. Because at the end of the day they are facing us frontally. I'm going to do is have you remain in that position. Rotate. Okay, cancel order. Reverse back behind the house. Reverse, reverse, reverse. Get the hell out. If you can take the shot, then take it, but please kill. Additional T-64s arriving. What I'm going to do is have them just stop for the moment. Um, have them move into position here, but change their formation into a line. There we go. Okay, T-64 in place, T-64 in place. Uh, what I'm going to do is bring this additional T-64 down to this position here. Have them uh, rotate. Uh, have you move down this way, have you cover that area. Uh, we do have infantry embedded within the town here. So should the enemy move into position, we should be able to slaughter them. Right, I can see a FE-101 moving up here. So I'm going to do is actually keep that infantry unit within its spot right now. Right, doesn't seem like they've spotted us. I mean, kill the sim choirs for the love of God, just kill something. Right, ATGM out. ATGM's out. Okay, not good. Not good, not good, not good, not good. Move back, move back, move back, move back, move back. Uh, no damage received, but please move back. Uh, smoke rounds are coming. ATGM out on the FV 432. Uh, no kill. Okay, but they are moving to cover. Damn it. Just as it was moving behind cover. Okay, hold position. Uh, helicopter. Yeah, there's a chieftain. Wow, okay. Uh, pop smoke. Not good, not good. Right, at least those smoke rounds are landing here. What I'm trying to do is actually try and... Uh, let's see. Just fire for effect right now. Uh, what we're going to do then is... Change this to high explosives. Bring a hell of a lot more rounds into the area. Now it's a shame that we lost the T-64 there. Right, artillery landing here. Right, ideally they move into the town. Oh uh, no. Yeah, just keep moving. If you stop, you're dead. But please take out a swing fire for the love of God. Right, opening up. Right. At least we have uh, good smokes arriving there as well. Henry's launching artillery. Rather be moving into the town shortly. 
If anything, this is where we may have them. Like RPGs out. Yeah, my Sam's out at the rear over here. Right. What I'm going to do here is actually... Wait one second. Let's light the enemy up here. Okay. Now... Wait here a moment. What I want to do is actually have the enemy flanked. Uh, what do we have here? Uh, we are equipped with 80 GMs. Uh, they've dismounted. What I'm going to do then is actually make their formation free. Uh, what we're going to do is have them move around here swiftly. Then move round. Contact. What do we see from here? Uh, not very much from this position. Not much. As uh, so we're going to do then, if I was in this position, uh, as of yet. Uh, but I'm going to move these forces forward. The idea here that we can catch the enemy by the flank with the 80 gems. Okay, what we're going to do then is actually have these 80 gems move up fast as well. We do have... Yeah, danger close, danger close indeed. <laughs> right, we do have multiple 80 gems here. We do have T-64s as well. Uh, what we're going to do then is move them into covered positions. Ideally, we prepare to take the enemy... Uh, additional mechanized. Yeah, these uh, reinforcements look like they're going to be needed. You attach. Free formation. Quickly into this area. Actually. Uh, quickly into the town. Let's move up some additional reinforcements. I do have some T-62s over here. What I'm going to do then is we're going to have them... Move with the trees and engage the enemy from the flank, ideally. Same here. Ah, uh, then again, then again. Right, you hold your position. There we go. Okay, not quite yet the time. Right, I do have additional motorized. That what I'm going to do is, um... Yes, keep them moving. ATGMs will be moving around the flanks here. So with these ATGMs. Okay, we have them in the center though. So ideal conditions here. Uh, they are moving towards the town. Wing fire continues to spot. What I'm going to do here is pop smoke. I'm going to lure them into town here. That's order will be landing shortly. And again, 10 seconds. Yeah, okay, we'll keep that up. Uh, Moscow 1, Moscow 1. Be target. Okay, this looks like a potential chance here to engage with T-64. Yeah, enemies moving here. Tracked vehicles. Cancel order. Have you move up there. Yeah, see our position. Covering the bridge is very important now. Let's put infantry back. Artillery out. Right, they're moving into the town. FV-432 destroyed by T-62. Right, now they're moving into town. We should be able to engage them. Have you rotate. Danger close. Yeah, me too. Right, swing fire. Come on, kill it.
I get destroyed. Additional artillery and incoming. Right, enemy vehicle making its way through the center of town here. Not a wise move. But the motorized squad is retreating. Moscow 3 inbound. Moscow 2 will be di uh, redirected. But I may change this to a different ammunition. Though we still have 528 rounds, we're going to retarget this to this area. Um, yes, okay. We have to put the risk down on the scout team here. Please don't be a chieftain. Chieftain, I'm buggered. Okay, I'll tell to be landing shortly. There we go, bring the rain. Right, enemy vehicle destroyed. Fantastic. Have smoke. Enemy fixed wing. Damn, these are bombers. Right, okay. Uh, mechanized, sorry, motorized forces equipped with um, AA missiles are engaging. SBA is engaging. Whoa, those are some big bombs. Oh no. Strellas. Should spot them soon enough. Oh yeah, these guys don't look like they're gonna have a good time. Strellas? Oh, they're too. Uh... Oh boy. Oh wow, you actually know where my shots are. Oh dear. Okay, missile out. <laughs> right, we've lost a BMP-1. Oh. That's not good. Hmm. Not good, not good. Some are mobilized, some are mobilized. Okay, they need to pull back now. Up smoke or anything like that, just get I suppose we may have uh, been rather prudent here. Uh, the enemy is definitely doing a good job with their chieftains. Uh, hurry on. Right, we are engaging with a T-64 though, so we may get a kill shot. Right, I do have additional armored assets. Right, this T-64 is still alive. We'll move up into the town here, try and support our forces. MP1. Okay. Reinforcements have arrived, so what we're going to do then is have these forces uh, move into the town here. I'll have you unload. Then we'll move that infantry up. Right, we do have a flank shot, so if we're well, not a great flank shot, but we may have it. These guys can get out of here alive and very, very happy. Okay, enemy's definitely in the town now. At least our T-64 is doing its best frontally. Well, at its best frontally. Which one we just move these guys? Right, let's take these motorized reinforcements. Have them shifted up over here. Yeah, good thing we're moving there as well. Let's go 2 5 for effect. Okay, T-64 has spotted you. Please kill that chieftain, though. Rounds out. Okay, 
That's uh, probably infantry. First. Taking out artillery fire. Okay, we are able to hit them. Yeah, the British should definitely bring a bit of artillery to bear here. Hit. Right, move them out. Let them reverse. Okay, I have an idea here. Moscow 1, Moscow 1. Thirty rounds. Well, we'll put it down to about eighteen. Extreme danger close. But I need to take out these armored vehicles. Chiefs are moving through the bloody woods. Jesus. I do have some forces here, but these guys are dead. Right, we destroyed an enemy vehicle though. Good job. <laughs> I feel for the uh, scout squad here, but their sacrifice will be worthwhile. Good, we do have rounds landing very close. This is not good though. Right, T sixty four. God damn random is moving. I think it's worthwhile camps in Moscow one. But we still have enemy forces moving into the area. Right, scout forces move in there. I do have an ATGM. May still save me. This ATGM may do the same. Uh, these ATGMs, we need to get into a good spot. Right, you do have line of sight over this area, so that's great. Make sure you're facing the right way, though. Right, actually, yeah, it's reattach. And we'll just work together. At least we can have our... Uh, we'll have our BMPs actually move into this area. At least then they might be able to uh, do some effective work from within the trees. Okay, 29 second. It's a little bit too late. Right, they're moving into the town. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Seems like they've been spotted. Oh boy. Right, yep, swing fire's definitely dead. Interesting they're using their heavy machine guns. Right, spotted. Enemy dead. Damn that chieftain. Hmm, D-62 may be able to take out that chieftain here. That'd definitely be great. Uh, DPICM's landing here. Probably should cancel that. But we still don't know what else may be coming. But kill that chieftain. Blanking shot. Well, whatever it may be there. Rotate. 
fifteen down. Killed by the actual infantry here. Superb. Hmm. We do have a chieftain moving up this area. Yeah, the enemy's definitely uh, making work down here. Chieftain there. Chieftain, but we do have a flanking shot, ideally. Uh, another t uh, chieftain has been destroyed. FE-432 moving up into the center here. FE-432 as well. <laughs> uh, FE-432 down. Yeah, multiple, multiple chieftains. Enter that order. Right, if you can... Right, we do have our motorized uh, rifle here. They may kill another chieftain. T-64 taking fire. Yeah, you're goddamn right. Reverse, reverse, reverse. I can kill that chieftain. I can fire. Right, good thing we have additional infantry in the town here. What I'm going to do is have you actually move up that position. Be there as well. Okay. That's some effective enemy fire. Why we lost the T64 there. That's not good. Yeah, the issue is the tower's being flanked here. Uh, though we do have... Okay. <laughs> Should not be out in the open like that. I'm going to have you retreat there. Uh, T-64A engaging as well. Okay. That T-62 has no chance. Damaged. I think the fact that we're lacking... Smoke uh, capabilities here. Whoa! You actually managed to kill that. Holy moly, that saved me so much. Okay, we may have a chance here. The enemy is moving here. Uh, looks like we did just take out that uh, chieftain here. Yeah. Oh no, that was our vehicle. Okay, that's blown its top. Probably should have kept them actually, but I did not expect a chieftain flank. Okay. Oh, we may get the drop on this chieftain as well. Right, multiple infantry forces retreating. Can't blame them. Hmm. Right, we'll have you reverse up into those trees there. Oh, you're immobilized. Ah, oh, no wonder you can't move. Yeah, enemy's definitely pushing on a wide flank here. That looks like another chieftain. The shame about our tanks here. Actually, uh, retreat towards the woods here. We have an additional T-64. Oh, thank you. Maybe vital. Lost the motorized squad. Right, FV-432, FV-432. Okay, open fire, open fire. ATGM out. Hit, but I don't think any damage, or that might have been a miss, actually. Additional vehicle destroyed. Okay, we're going to move up the BMP ones. Good. 
Take what was your line of sight line? Out of that, actually. Let's just keep you in position. I do have additional forces here. What does I put them in place? Then again. I reattach. Move back to the town. We do need additional reinforcements there. Then again. Additional reinforcements here wouldn't be a bad idea. Move to the town. I do have my lead tank over here. We'll move that closer. Let's see here. We may have time to deploy our artillery. I do have some DPICM rounds left. Uh, 24. Increase that. In it. Way too long. Way, way, way too long. The best I can for hope for then is actually to try and flank the enemy here. That was definitely under a heavy, heavy threat. That's a real landing. Uh, reverse actually behind the building here. Routed. Troops moving in. Actually hold position. It may get a kill shot here. Yeah, they've spotted it. Perfect flank shot. Please kill it. Target. Danger close. Kill, 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 kill. Come on, engage your 115. Right, no, but the MG fire opened up. Ah, no. There we go. Right, hold position. Rotate. Come on. Use the main cannon. Lost an additional T-62. Damn it. Ooh, that's effective fire, but we did take out the other chieftain there. That's great. Okay, rotate. Rotate. Those guys are retreating. I mean, these T-62s have really had help, but they might actually be the salvation. Additional chieftain. Right, you're engaging. RPG-7s, I imagine. Oh. Good, good shot, good shot. Now I just lost my B BRDM. See, the enemy is making a slow uh, progression towards us now. Right, rotate the right goddamn way. Okay, reverse. Yeah, T64 taking fire. Infantry under fire. Okay. Cancel Moscow 2, cancel Moscow 3. Really bring the rain down on them. Those are going to be a lot of shells landing there. Okay, what I can actually do here is move in force this way. Hmm. 
yeah, these chieftains are definitely hard to kill from the front. Just over a minute until artillery arrives. Additional uh, chieftain destroyed by T-62. God damn bless these T-62. But it looks like the threat here actually manageable. I'm going to keep that uh, T-62 in position. It's done such a good job taking out multiple chieftains. Okay. Good to destroy the enemy there. Chieftain does have a sighted in, but this T-64 may be able to take it. You may have a flank shot here. And kind of in enemy artillery. Right, no, no damage. 33 seconds now till additional artillery lands. Damn, we lose our T-64 there. Right, reinforcements are moving to flank here. Right, these T-60s. Yes, good, good shot. AP um, FSDS takes them out. Now the British are punishing us, but we are punishing them right back. Okay, you need to pull back. And again, the too late. Additional chieftain destroyed. Artillery inbound. Rocket artillery too. Moscow force certainly going to be effective here. Here comes that thunder. This is going to be rather fun. P64, A still alive. There we go. It's just listen to the amount of artillery coming in. Have fun with that. I doubt this is going to be effective, but at least it may have a chance. If it shocks the enemy, that'd be great. Helicopter spotted once again. I mean, this I doubt is going to kill anything, but if it actually stuns the enemy, that'd be great. It's going to keep them moving. Flank shot, ideally, here. Definitely flank shot here. Chieftain down. By starting. Oh, goodbye, Chieftain. Right, T64 taking five. Come on, you can do this. You've got a T62 supporting you. Right, push forward. Yes, and you have the kill shot. Chieftain down, as well as another Chieftain here. Artillery's still raining in. This did look like a poor situation, but the Soviet forces here are holding their own. And they are giving it back to the British just as hard as they're taking it. FP-432 down. Bombardment's over. Just look at the sheer amount of smoke over here. I think I'm actually going to pull that unit back. You've done so well from that position. Our forces here are moving in to flank and reinforce this sector. Ooh. Ah, scout team's engaging as well. Nicely done. Yep, killing down the mechanized. Those T-62s, I thought they were just gone, but they played such... Yeah, exactly, that flanking T-62 has done some serious work. We do have an additional Houston there. Actually, cancel order, have you paid? Houston moving up the road. Right, T-64 spotted it. Here's the Chieftain's unaware. May get a flanking shot here. Yes, definitely. As soon as it moves up there, it's going to be dead. Been a hell of a battle here. Right, hold your position. Yep, additional tracking vehicles. 
He's his full rotating. Yeah, they're about to be lit up now. That chieftain's dead. Goodbye, chieftain. I love the models here. Right. Not damn first shot, but you will be lit up regardless. Come on, guys. Right, that chief is probably the greatest danger, considering it's turning its turret. No damage. One turret there. Yeah, chieftain taken out. High explosive anti-tank round. Just a matter of time now until this chieftain's taken out. Oh dear. Right, we are hitting the hull here at a bad angle, it seems. Just a matter of time until we get a flank and sure that kills it. Yeah, the enemy has no idea here. Right, motorized. Yeah, look at our forces here, lighting them up. Good night, sweet prince. There, ooh, hi. Turret blew off there. Hell of an explosion. <laughs> wow. I mean, I've got to say, when we saw all these chieftains flanking us from all across, I thought things were over. The enemy had us dead to right there, but we've definitely pulled this back. This T-62 should be given a Medal of Honor. Hero of the Soviet Union. Beautiful. Right, you're under fire. I'll have you reverse. I do not want to lose you. Yeah, I'd say it's you. Yeah, definitely you. That's all we fire, London. Uh, we'll redeploy our forces here. So I'm going to leave one just here. in that position. Right, TC4 still taking fire. Well, you're reversing now, so here we go. Go, go, go. Damn your slow ass for retreating slowly. May die trying to get behind cover. Rotary ring spotted. God damn that helicopter. Let's see what we can do about that. Two of them. Right, vehicle's moving. Ah, hero. Okay, take his position. And again, you don't even need to move, actually. Many heroes of the Soviet Union here. Move Streller up here as well. Uh, you're immobilized and panicked. You're ready to go. All chieftains moving up. You do have line of sight. Reload in ammunition. Good shot there. Hell of a good shot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we did pull it off there quite nicely. I've lost the PMP one there. That's not good. I take it that's from the helicopters. Ooh, actually, that's something moving there. On position, rotate. Do have additional track vehicles here. Not yet over. I'm going to actually retreat back into that great position. Right, this is not looking good. Uh, we do have flanking shot on that chieftain, so please kill it. You have your full armor here, he's only using his side. Not see that. See that. They're obscured. Fire. Okay. Actually, just hold position. I'll use something else to try and kill it. Multiple track vehicles still. Mechanized infantry platoon moving in. A 
to gym out. See what I mean? That's very, very slow. Dead. Right, multiple, multiple vehicles out here. They are still there. Right, okay. What I'm going to do is actually cancel your order. Have you actually moved up? Right by missile. Okay, hold your position. Actually, you may be able to take care of these. So we've lost a lot of vehicles. We've definitely lost a lot. Should you open it up with that mechanized? Uh, it's actually headquarters as well. Tell you what, what we should do here then? Is we're going to take our Moscow 4. Uh, we're going to re redo this. We're actually going to bring down a major, major mission here. Cancel. Bring all the guns to bear. Not so many HE rounds. Shame, isn't it? But we'll have the time. Right, you've spotted. Rotate. Doesn't seem like the chieftain spotted you, so if you get time to turn, you may still be able to bring your ATGM to bear. You did have a life sight, but it seems you've lost that. Whoa, that's a lot of uh, forces there. Let's see. Yep, you're going to continue the Lord's work. You have line of sight, so. You have another T64A still remaining to me. Uh, another two here in the center of the tower, thank god. Dead. Oh no! Oh no! It's a trap! <laughs> That's a shame. Oh, that T60. Uh, sorry, that, yes, that T62 did so much work. Oh, what a true hero. Really a hero. Right. Chieftain. Okay, the battle's not yet over. Definitely not yet over. Opposition. Right, I still have some reserves. Thank God for that. Yeah, they're making a big push over here. So this artillery is going to be great. It's a shame that it's going to take us so long to bring it into bear. Uh, obviously due to the fact that they're out of our uh, target reference point. Yeah, lots of fire coming in here. Okay, what I'll do is I'll move up. Try and take out that chieftain. Now we really do not have great my side there. Okay, we lost our squad. Still have a T sixty four, as well as a T sixty two here. Right, additional motorized forces are moving up now. Still no. It's a smoke, isn't it? Okay, ATGM's out. Please kill it. 
Yes. Thank you. Oh, thank God for that. I'm glad that we kept forces in reserve here. Oh boy. Now oh, you're small. But not yet by you. I just move forward at the end of the day. They'll take the fire off the um, DC spell, which seems to just not want to attack. Can't really afford to lose you. Infantry can be very deadly in the right circumstances. I think what I probably would have been better off doing is actually having the infantry in the deeper within the town. So the enemy tanks would have had to move in. Where's your line of sight line? Tiny, but end of day you'll get flanking shot. Right now you have line of sight. Got ATGM. I mean, even the 73mm gun may still actually have a good chance of taking that out. If they hit. Right, ATG out. Uh, I think that was a hit. Oh, well, there we go. Heat round takes it out. Another chieftain here. Another flanking shot. Look at all the uh, shell rounds here. Destroyed. They say uh, tactical victory. <laughs> there we go, ladies and gentlemen. The battle is won. Huge losses here on both sides. Phenomenal battle here, but we have been proven the victors. The USSR has triven here today. <laughs> so we can see here, 151 troops uh, deployed, 52 lost. So uh, one third of our forces were lost. 19 vehicles lost here. Three were routed. Uh, one vehicle routed here. Now we can see uh, the British lost 38 of their 92 troops, but they lost 41 of their vehicles out of their 57. They did come here with uh, SBGs and mortars as well as aircraft. <laughs> I think the Brits have uh, just had to accept the inevitable here. So if we take a look at the actual after-action report here, we can see how things moved along quite nicely. Uh, I'm not... I think routed is basically there, they're more or less broken. I don't know how combat effective they are after that point. You can see here as the battle moves. Yes, indeed. Look at that armoured push. But they were continuously trying to breach us, and this was the danger point here. We did manage, luckily, luckily to revert standard. There we have it. We'll take a look at the actual battlefield here. They still had plenty of chieftains in reserve. We've got four, at least four here. Five, six. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They still had at least ten chieftains. The vast majority of their force was done after that. Yes, I mean, once this force was gone here, I mean, we would have brought down a major bombardment here. Yes, definitely a close call. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, and we're starting, we're starting to bring fire upon the enemy here. Chieftains are definitely, definitely deadly opponents. So yes, thank you so very much, ladies and gentlemen, for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this. I think this has definitely been the best uh, look that we've had here. I think this has actually been the closest run battle that we've had. And I hope you guys have really enjoyed that, because I've definitely enjoyed presenting it. And I hope to see you again next week. Now, if you are interested in finding me, you can definitely find me over here on YouTube. And I hope to see you guys very soon in the future. Goodbye for now. Adios. Muchachos.